Okay, so welcome to uh, Dancing Pig Productions. That's the dancing pig. Little shy, doesn't want to dance. Got a new cameraman, a little afraid of that. Was pretty good with Miguel, but now we got Manny. So Manny's behind the cam. Uh, we have Don Butler's ass trojet that we're going to... Uh, a lot of people asking questions about buffing and nitrocellulose lacquer and the whole nine yards and the whole controversy between nitrocellulose lacquer and, uh, and polyester, not polyurethane. I don't know if a single guitar painted in polyurethane or polyester, which is pretty hard finish as well. I like about lacquer is its luster, its feel. It, and I don't mean playing field. That was somebody asked that question. It's not really playing field, as far as sounding feel. It's it's actual touch. Um, feels a lot more slick, unless of course it gets gummy and sticky, and then it's just the opposite. Um, quick tour tour of the shop. There it is. So what we're gonna do. Don sent me this forever ago and said no rush and never tell me no rush because <laughs> I'm pretty literal about that. Always take your sandpaper and put it in a bucket and let it soak for about 20 minutes the wet and dry paper. It makes a lot of sense to do that in the streets. You know, let the pig have it at a different angle if nobody objects. Um, and the reason for that is the backing becomes softer more soft. Yeah, so starting with the headstock, here I go. Um, some of the important things to have is a sponge. You want the sponge. You're sanding out a piece of dirt. If the dirt gets trapped and you're using your fingers, you're going to make more scratches than you're taking out. So that's the idea there. Um, on some areas, I start with 600. On some areas, I start with 800 P grade. P grade is more coarse than your standard uh, old non p grid. So on some areas where it's already in pretty good shape and, and my goal is to um, just level it out, that's, that's where I want to start. One thing you got to keep in mind and, and you know, it, you can't, there you go. This is pretty shiny already. Um, being lacquer, but you you have nowhere near the depth that we're going to have after a full sand and buff, and that's the uh, that's the only reason to do this. There are a couple of grain spots exposed. Use grain filler. Did the whole nine yards. This has got about net six coats of lacquer on it. There's probably 15 shot on it. Sealer, uh, grain filler, the whole nine yards. There's a water slide decal that says Gretsch. All right, so it is. You know, I always say I like to bury them like Jimmy Hoffa. Just kind of keep putting lacquer on them until there's nothing left. So the only issue is you're always if you you have one level here and one level here, and you keep putting on clear, everything's going to rise. So every couple of steps of the way, every couple of coats in a dry, I would sand the logo down so that it would be a little bit closer. Um, I like to start there and uh, when you wet sand you can see where you've been and you can feel it too. There's a definite feel to when, when you're done with the sandpaper and I don't like to, to um, this is 800 then I'll go to 1000 then 1200, 15 2,000. Uh, everything up to 2,000, I don't like to switch more than 200 numbers. And the idea of the water and the wet sandpaper is so you can flush the dirt off of the paper so that it's not scratching the surface. And I always like to use a 100% cotton rag in addition. Um, try to see if you can see that. I don't think you can see anything. There you go. Now if I can get the right angle. You can see that it's getting dull. So, uh, Manny, you think you can zoom in? It's gone. 
So anyways, the idea is uh, just to get rid of the scratches. You can see when it all goes dull and even, and you keep it square, you're going to be fine. You're trying to get rid of the grain, you're trying to get rid of the dirt, and you want to make it look like there's really nothing there. It's kind of the goal. You also got to keep in mind that every time you're sanding, some of your sandpaper is going away. So you need to, to move to different areas and don't be afraid to use paper. I mean, there's a lot more drag here than there was a minute ago, which means it's cutting more. It also means you've got to be careful. And you also, another thing is you don't want it to get too wet because we have it holes where the, where the tuning pegs go. You don't want water to get in there and just swell up. So you just keep those areas as dry as you possibly can. You just got to be careful of the edges. I try to stay away from the edges and then I do the edges last. Um, this is one of the reasons why a lacquer job is so expensive. Because it is very labor intensive. There's a lot of hours that go into the sanding. And I try not to keep too much track of that, or otherwise <laughs> it just wouldn't get done. It would just be too expensive to do a job. So the, the product is relatively cheap. For a gallon of lacquer, you're looking at about under $40. Good quality lacquer thinner is more than the actual product itself. Um, for a real rich slow thinner. So the idea of the 800 is to get it flat, to get rid of all your grain marks, or as many as you can. And now the goal is, after you've gotten that done, now the goal is to come back with um, 1,000 and 1,200, and that's basically to get rid of the 800 sand scratches. So you're not seeing all kinds of scratches in the finish. And black is the worst. You see everything in black. Every little imperfection shows through it's like you wouldn't believe. And from the water, you can take something like, like a squeegee and take the water off. And you can see if there's any scratches. You can see the lines when you do that. Which tells you where you need to go. And, and typically, most people are afraid to do the edges and the, and the logo. That's why if you put a lot of product on there and, and you're sanding and you keep a, an idea how much you have, there's, a, there's quite a lot here. So sanding through is, uh, is hard to do. Oops, I sent it through. No, I didn't. It's a joke. So that's it with the thousand. I'm good. Now the twelve hundred and two thousand. It's just the same process. So I'm going to turn the camera off so you're not bored to tears. <laughs>